I got some real news for you today, although there is some speculation we can go along with this news. Uh, but before I get into it, hey, look, go Bucks. I know you play Denver Nuggets today. Let's get it done. Let's keep the win streak alive. But more importantly than that, you should enter to win a copy of Monster Hunter Rise. That's right. This month, I'm giving away a copy of Monster Hunter Rise and two $20 Nintendo Switch playstation or xbox gift cards it'll be user choice that's right we're giving away three things that means three winners to enter head down to the description or the pinned comment also i messed with some settings on the camera so let me know if the focus is a little bit better now or if it's worse we'll find out as we go i'll find i'll know in editing for crying out loud but let's get into this uh so square enix is just inked a deal with a Polish studio called Forever Entertainment. And they inked this deal specifically to make remakes of, well, a, like a, a certain IP at Square. We aren't sure which IP, uh, but Forever Entertainment was actually the team behind the Panzer Dragoon remaster on Nintendo Switch. So they specifically have recently done a remaster for Switch. Uh, and they are the company that announced that they say they announced that they have inked a new deal with Square Enix, uh, which will see remakes of several titles. All of these remakes are based on the same brand. So it's the same IP multiple titles uh but the series is not being confirmed at the moment they are not going to tell you or give you any additional information on it uh and it says it will be made public in a separate report when the global marketing campaign begins basically when square decides they want to advertise the games that's when they will announce obviously what ip they're working with uh they will include new graphic designs in these remakes although the gameplay and scenario will remain consistent with the original version revenue across all platforms will be split between forever entertainment and square enix so these remakes are going to be on more than just switch they're going to be multiple platforms but it's very interesting to see what games are talking about interestingly enough like final fantasy one through six doesn't really have a presence on Switch. So you gotta wonder, is that potentially what we're going with? Some Final Fantasy? Obviously, Dragon Quest XI was a massive success on Switch. Uh, is it possible we're gonna see Dragon Quest games remastered or remade on, for Switch? Obviously, for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X as well. I, I don't know. Like, it, there could be so many different Square IPs that could come back. Like, when I look at some of the comments on this, because I got this uh, from. NintendoLife.com because they translated it from a uh, foreign source. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that are wondering about Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross. You know, whether those could get remakes. Uh, you know, Illusion of Gaia, Act Razor, Soul Blazer. Just to, to, to throw a little um, uh, variation out there, other IPs that Square has control of. But obviously, the big ones are Dragon Quest and uh, Final Fantasy. I think a lot of people would like to see some Final Fantasy remakes. I know that we have that Final Fantasy VII remake happening and Part Two coming later, some DLC for Part One coming later this year. Uh, but I do think that there is a high possibility uh, that we could see Final Fantasy One through Six potentially as the ones that get remade here. But who knows? It could be any of you know Square's main IPs. I would say because it's it's many titles in the same brand. So uh, we'll see what happens here. I. I obviously have no clue what it's going to be, but I do know that Square makes a lot of games I enjoy. Uh, they don't really put out... I mean, I, this is going to be a little controversial for some people. To me, Square Enix has yet to put out a bad game. Uh, they have put out games that aren't as good as you wish they were, but I don't really recall a Square game I have actually touched that I could legitimately look at them and go, man, this game's terrible. And I'm sure someone's going to come up with some obscure example of a game that I've never tried before. Uh, but I'm pretty excited about this. And obviously this studio having experience just recently uh, by, by uh, porting Panzer Dragoon over uh, and, you know, and making a remaster of that on Switch, I think is uh, an Italian sign that Forever Entertainment is not going to leave the Switch behind. The Switch is also the lead platform in Japan. It's like the only platform that matters in Japan. Although PlayStation 5 has picked up sales a little bit. I think it sold 25,000 uh, units last week. But still, well behind what Switch is doing. Uh, very clearly, you're going to want to bring whatever product to Switch, especially from Square if you want it to sell in Japan. So I, I do think that you know they're going to bring Switch into the fold. And Square Enix obviously isn't 
like leaving Nintendo behind. Anyways, they just released Bravely Default 2 on Switch, and Bravely Default 2, for all intents and purposes, is a pretty fantastic game from those that have played it. I, I am not one of those people. Maybe I'll eventually pick it up. But uh, it, it seems to be a game that people are really enjoying and obviously has a history. Uh, Square obviously saw massive success with Octopath Traveler on Switch to the point that they ended up making a mobile prequel, and now they have a sequel coming out uh, eventually. So, yeah, I mean, Square obviously is not a company that has intentionally left Nintendo behind. But obviously, you know, Final Fantasy 15, we know, is an exclusive to PlayStation 5, um, or at least exclusive to PlayStation. Maybe it'll end up on 4. I don't know. But I do know that that's exclusive to Sony anyways. Uh, and, you know, Square has obviously got a really tight partnership with Sony. But I would venture to say if we're looking at older catalog games getting remade, uh, that you would obviously consider all platforms, not just Sony, not just Xbox, not just PC, but Switch as well. So uh, I think this is very good news for gamers on the whole. Uh, we'll have to see what they do. They actually did a really great job with the pran uh, of the pan the Pranzer, the Panzer Dragoon uh, remake from videos I have seen and based on reviews I have watched and read about it. It seems that they did a really nice job with that. So. Uh, Maybe another great studio to kind of put a notch in the belt, you know, just like with uh, Panic Button and such, where, you know, a group that can bring games to Switch and realize them in a way that uh, the original uh, makers of the games can be proud of. Uh, and obviously, I really want to see what they can do with next-gen technology and all jazz. Is it really next-gen? I guess it's current-gen at this point, right? I know we have this habit of still calling it next-gen, but technically, the systems are out, even if a lot of you guys don't own them. Uh, so, like, it's current-gen now, but... Anyways, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Uh, I'm pretty excited. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.